customer or oh, she's so exciting. No one. Uh, you came in here for a pie, sir. Brilliant. Good bad. Sorry if my head seems a little vague, it's just well. To be honest with you, I haven't seen a customer in weeks. The way that people keep avoiding this place, you'd think we'd had the plague. <laughs> you know what? No one even comes in here for a bloody cigarette. Heaven knows I try, sir. Heaven knows I try. To be fair, these have got to be the worst pies in London. And that's just being polite. I'm telling you, these things are just grease and grit, proper disgusting. But with the price of meat what it is, I don't understand what customers are expecting. Cows from the hills of Italy, dough containing an elixir of life, I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Get this. Oh, do I have a story for you. The other day, right there on that street, I saw a man pick up a dead bat and eat it. He thought it was a bloody treat he did. People are eating dead bats over my meat pies. Oh, uh, you know Mrs. Mooney? Across the street? Does our business, she does. Owns a pie store just like me. But lately I've been noticing something strange. All the cats in the vicinity have gone, disappeared. I've to end it to her. It's what I call enterprise, bopping pussies into pies. <laughs> yeah. I deny it. Times is hard, sir. Harder than the worst pies in London. What's that you said? Why don't I rent the room above my shop? Because <laughs> no one will take it. They say it's haunted. I used to say they're wrong. See, something happened there a few years ago. Something not very nice. There was a barber, brought bra just with a knife. Married to a pretty wife, had a young baby girl. Nice family. So one day, something happened. The judge of the town, he wanted the barber's wife like mad. He desired her, craved her. So then one day, the barber gets transported into jail. What was his crime? Foolishness. So the young wife sitting alone in a dark, dusty room, and the judge is sending her flowers every single day. She refuses every single one of them, choosing to cry over her poor transported husband instead. But then uh, a few months later, she gets an invitation from the judge, inviting her to a party. She thinks, why not? Haven't been out in a while. So she goes. And when she gets there, there's all music and people and dancing and mirrors, and it's, a, it's all very frantic for her. She takes a drink. Now this bird's a bit of a lightweight, a bit of a skinny one. So she's just tumbling around looking for the judge. And then she sees him. He's got this mad look in his eyes. It's kind of scary. She takes a few steps back. Then he descends onto her. And he rapes her. The people around are laughing. I think she's daft, you see. No match for his craft, you see. Next day, they found her dead. Poisoned herself with arsenic. Sad. I don't tears rolling down your cheeks. Can't be. Yes, 
supposed to be in jail. What an ironic coincidence. Sorry about your wife and all. The judge. He's got your daughter. Locks her up in a tower. So what? What you gonna do?